to a year at PeachCopMovies.com. We are your hosts, Jeff and Diane, and this is movie number 35, Rear Window from 1954. And during the production of last week's movie, Dial M for Murder, Alfred Hitchcock was very, very excited about his next project. That project, tonight's Rear Window, is today considered a classic, was at the time a runaway blockbuster, and is a big part of the decade where Alfred Hitchcock could do no wrong. Very cool. Grace Kelly likes to tell the story of when she was working with Hitch on last week's Dial M for Murder. He would take her aside between takes and tell her how excited he was about this next project, how excited he was about the set, and, and how he wanted her to be in it. And uh, it, is, it is a very neat thing. I don't think that distracted him from Dial M for Murder by any stretch, but they did get that done very quickly so they could get to this. Uh, in fact, he's already in the, the process of talking with Paramount Pictures and, and securing a deal that will amount to be five pictures, six pictures, six films for Paramount Pictures, five of which he will end up owning the rights to. And that's sure a far cry from the deal he got from David Oselznik, where he owned nothing, although that certainly was a generous thing, bringing him to Hollywood, and, and not a bad thing. But, um, you know, we're just going to go ahead and jump the gun and say this, this deal with Paramount Pictures turns out to be a very good thing. So what's the project? Well, it's a, a, a short story written in 1942 called It Must Be Murder, published in Dime Store Detective magazine, uh, no, Dime Detective magazine, sorry, by Cornell Woolrich. Now, now Cornell Woolrich, if you're not familiar with, with him, he was a, a, a sort of crime author, and uh, boy, there are more of his works that were turned into film noir screenplays than any other person. I mean, there are a million film noir movies that are based on his written works, including tonight's Rear Window. And in fact, I'm going to link up the, the PDF for uh, his short story, It Must Be Murder, because uh, we'll talk about it in a bit, but uh, it's, it's a worthwhile read. Um, so yeah, now even more importantly, tonight's movie was adapted to, to the screen by John Michael Hayes. Now, John Michael Hayes was, uh, he talks a bit about uh, him meeting with Hitchcock and, and then working together. Uh, that's on the DVD on, the, on one of the little featurettes, but maybe don't watch that because it gives away some plot points for Rear Window if you've not seen Rear Window, but uh, it's very, very cute. He's a neat man. And uh, he'll end up doing uh, four movies with Alfred Hitchcock, Tonight's Rear Window, To Catch a Thief, uh, The Trouble with Harry, and the remake of The Man Who Knew Too Much. And uh, there's actually a, a, a very, uh, there's a book called Writing with Hitchcock that was written by a fellow by the name of Stephen DeRosa who um, uh, did interviews with John Michael Hayes and it's, it's a, a great glimpse into the movie making era, the Hitchcock era of, of this time. It gets pretty good reviews from Amazon, I've not read it and we'll certainly want to talk more about this book uh, and, and more about John Michael Hayes in, uh, in, in the weeks to, uh, to come. So who's in this thing? Well, James Stewart is, and this is his second movie for Alfred Hitchcock. The first was Rope, and he was great in Rope. We're probably, you know, with 1954, we're probably seeing James Stewart at the height of his popularity, uh, certainly in Hollywood, and in 1954, he probably was the biggest star in the world. And I, I you know, I think that Alfred Hitchcock really got the best out of James Stewart. He's in lots of uh, funny comedies, and he's in a million great westerns as well, but uh, this will be uh, the, the second movie for, for those who have not seen him and is, is following to, so uh, you be the judge. Um, Grace Kelly is in it. Uh, she, this is in her second of three films in a row. Uh, she actually passed up the opportunity to be in On the Waterfront, which won Best Picture this year, to be in Rear Window. Uh, she's, uh, you know, and it must be said that she really was, was probably up there with top two favorite actresses of Alfred Hitchcock and mostly because she was a total professional she's 24 here and she was a total professional and he got exactly the kind of performance he wanted out of her and uh, you know she will retire at the age of 26 in a, in a couple of years from now at the height of her movie making career and we'll talk about that more about that next week on To Catch a Thief so you'll also notice in the credits that uh, Raymond Burr is in this one and you'll recognize yes that's the same Raymond Burr from Perry Mason and uh, Ironside. Uh, Thelma Ritter is in this one. She plays a nurse for uh, Jimmy, for James Stewart, a nurse looking after him. Boy, Thelma Ritter, you, you've seen her before. She was nominated six times for Best Supporting Actor. She never won, but that's still pretty impressive. Uh, she's in this one. 
And uh, one of the things that uh, really excited Alfred Hitchcock about this movie, about this project, was the set. The, the set, uh, you know, this is the fourth of the, the, the final four uh, limited setting films, Rope, Lifeboat, Last Week's Down for Murder, and Now Rear Window. And uh, the set is uh, an apartment building in Greenwich, Vill Greenwich Village in Manhattan, and a building built at great expense uh, by Paramount Studios on their Paramount lot. And I read somewhere that it cost 25% of the entire budget of this movie to build this set, uh, and it was the biggest set they had ever constructed. James Stewart character, he's a photographer for Life magazine, and he's broken his leg, so he's, uh, he's in a wheelchair. And what he's doing is looking out his rear window into the windows of the people who live in this, this apartment complex into their lives. And um, the apartment block set was actually modeled after a real apartment uh, uh, owned by or, or known of by uh, a fellow by the name of Slim Ahrens. Now, Slim Ahrens was a, a very famous photographer who was known for photographing beautiful people, famous people in beautiful locations. And he has a number of coffee table books that, that we've checked out. They're beautiful. Uh, he actually, um, I'll link up a, a YouTube clip where he talks about uh, talking with Hitchcock and, and Hitchcock asking him what he wanted. Uh, he wanted him to photograph his apartment and send Hitch the photos to, to the studio so they could get it right. They could build this apartment complex right. Uh, something like uh, seven apartments in this set were fully furnished. Uh, there was lighting that could simulate morning, day, sunset, and night, and you could switch between these different settings in 30, 40 minutes. It's, it's a pretty cool set, so check that out. Um, the music composer in this one is Franz Waxman. This is the final of his four films. And boy, we sure loved him in Rebecca, that great gothic music for that great mood in Rebecca. Fantastic music in Suspicion. There's the scene where Joan Fontaine is driving in her car to see if Beaky's been killed or not. And uh, the music is perfect. And he also did the music for The Parodine Case. So, there you go. But anyways, uh, check the music out in this. Uh, it's a bit different in this, uh, this movie tonight. We will talk about that more after the movie. So, uh, good. So, Hitchcock actually managed to take his favorite cinematographer, Robert Burks, to Paramount with him on this deal. So, uh, you can imagine the fun that he had with this unique set. And this is the fourth of 12 films that Robert Burks will work with uh, Hitchcock with. Now, the dresses that Grace Kelly wears in this movie, and there's a few of them, were designed by Edith Head. And if you don't know, she's a very famous costume designer. She was nominated 35 times for... Uh, Oscar for best costume designing, and she ends up winning eight times. So she's the she's the most um, awarded Oscar winner woman, anyways, here in 2011 with eight Oscars. That's pretty cool. She uh, she did the costumes in the movie The Sting, which is great. She'll actually, including this one, she'll do the costume designing in ten of our remaining 14 Hitchcock films. She also designed uh, Ingrid Bergman's uh, clothes in Notorious, so very cool. There is a cameo to look for, so uh, be on the alert for that one. In this, uh, this great film, this film from 1954, that earns Alfred Hitchcock uh, an Oscar nomination for Best Director. So good, let's get to it. That was a lot of stuff. So here we go. Um, 1954, Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window. Let's watch. Thank <music> you.